What's up everybody? I'm Combat MP. Welcome to Atlas. Welcome to the Waterless Atoll. So as you probably figured out from the comments, lots of things have happened since the last time we were we were together. First of all, we obviously don't need a uh, we obviously do not need a schooner. We have been on one. That was my fault. Obviously, we still need a bigger boat, so we're gonna go for a brig. Now that being said, it used to cost 50 coin to make a schooner. That became 5,000 coins. So the brig used to be 250 coin. So I'm thinking that's probably going to be 25,000 coins for a brig. And I can't imagine what a, a galleon, I think a galleon was 500, so that would be 50,000 coins. So that is unbelievable. That being said, I'm not too upset about uh, coming out here because we're in a different biome. We're able to grab a lot of different stuff. So what I did is I made another, where is it at? cargo rack and I'm gonna put that in place and I'll tell you why because we're already at 7,000 7,000 weight out of 10,800 everything we put in here becomes a percentage of the weight I want to say it's like 30 percent so if we put that in there and then we empty out a lot of the stuff we have like right now we are at what we're at 7,017 so if I just take if I just take the metal, and some of this other stuff, and I put it in here, every time I do that it's going to lower our weight. So now we're already down to 6,815, and that's my point. If we're going to be out, we might as well take a look around and gather what we can that's new here. In order to do that, though, we are definitely going to have to make some room. All this stuff that's really heavyweight, I'm going to leave in here for now. Some of this other stuff, it's just going to add more weight. So we are going to take everything we can. I'm going to leave the diving on, obviously. And already we are down to 66.52. And that's my point. We're going to start putting a lot of stuff in there. I also made a bed. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bed here just in case we ever run as fast travel here or in case we die here. Um, what do I do with that? It's not going to be in there, obviously. It's. I bet you I put it away, didn't I? I bet you I put it in. Let's take some of this other stuff out of here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal going and grabbing it out of there instead of grabbing it out of here. Uh, let's do this. We're going to take this big pile here, put that in there. And then we'll walk up, put this other stuff in. And I think I probably put the bed in up there. So I want to find a place to put it. I'm thinking maybe up on top of that hill there. Just in case we die, we know we're going to be safe if we, uh, if we ever need to come back here. Another thing is an op we option is we can empty this out and put all that in there except for what we need. But this only holds so much too. So we have to be careful what we put in here also. So if we take all this. See we already have 31 of 100 storage in here. But we are already down to 6420. So me and Honey are going to go for a ride. I want to make sure I have this thing loaded. I do. Oops, sorry about that. 
Uh, so we're going to take a ride around. There are ostriches everywhere. Because I want to see what all we can get here that we don't have. Like, we need wood. I'm pretty sure this is a different kind of wood. Yep, this is aged wood. So we want to grab some of that. And then I know that there's copper, because whenever I hit a stone earlier, I got a couple pieces of copper and a cactus. Jute, which I don't know if that's different or not. I can't remember. But all this. Parsley's new. And we know that the maize is new. And the bilberry's new. Cotton's new. So we're going to make our way up here for now. And actually, if we come down through here, I might be able to get up over on this. Um, can I get over there? I thought I saw a cobra. I don't know if I can, I don't know if he can get up here or not. Come on, you can knock this tree down, please. Thank you. Alright, he can't get up there. Oh, yeah, I can. Are you kidding me? This bear can do anything. Oh, see, this is the perfect place for a bed. Right here. Right here is where we're going to put a bed. Of course, I didn't grab it. So you stay right there. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get that bed. Can I put it in here? I did. So after we get done here, we'll take today, check this place out, grab stuff that we need. And then we're going to head over to the next biome, wherever that may be. I'm thinking someone told me D3 is a different biome. So we're just going to put this right here. Can't place, requires placement on a floor. Of course it does. And I knew that. All right, well, we'll come back to that. Do I have my... I don't have anything that I need. Alright, let's put that in there. Beautiful. Alright, so let's get back on her and head out. I want to spend the day checking this place out. Maybe grab some more of the maze up there. Let's do that right now. This is a pretty cool little island here. It's amazing to me how much uh, useful stuff is here. See if I'm going to be able to get up here. What is this? More cotton? What was that? Olfend? The only thing I'm really worried about on this island that I've seen so far was lions. 
Oh, don't you get stuck in there now. Uh, so much stuff in the way. Alright. We are up. We definitely want to grab some of the crystal. Herkimer. That's good. We don't want to overdo it now because we uh we want to take some good looks around here. I don't want all of this parsley. Let's get rid of some of that. That's good. Don't need that. We have all the jute we could possibly need. I keep the cotton. I keep the roots. All right, I do want to grab a little bit more of this corn. Not much. I'm more. I less want the. I less want the corn, and and I more want the seeds. That way we can grow our own. And then what is this over here? Yarrow, right? Yep. And what is this? Shasandra. There's more Herkimer, more yarrow. It is so depressingly hot here. That's the only problem. Very depressingly hot. So let's head up this way. I didn't bring the map because I wanted to make sure. Uh, what killed you? What killed you? Is there a uh, something bad up here around here? I'm not seeing anything. Uh, of course, I did not. Well, I didn't prepare myself very well here, did I? I'm gonna go down and uh, down by the water. Nothing else up here anyway. There's more corn here. There's more yarrow, which we have. More Shisandra. I don't know. What is this? Is this aged wood? It is. Whoa. Oh. Thought it was strawberries. It's not. It's pine cones. So let's head down this way toward the water. Male scorpion. Well, he's too hot to even chase me. Let me out. See if I can get in the water before I die. That'd be neat. go we'll hang out here a second till that manta wants to screw with us and it will it is a manta health is starting to come back up finally Come on, health. I'm slowly sinking. Look at him already. Overheat it again. Go down one more time.
Come on, health. Come up. All right. We'll work our way around a little bit. And then, um... We'll stay close to the water for now. I am looking for, um... I would not mind getting an getting an ostrich, but I'm not gonna get it now. We will, but we know where they're at. So, what are these little melon things? No. Wild cactus. All right, it's the same thing as the big cactus. All right. All right, a bottle. That's a good thing. Uh, this is uh, pretty shallow here. Wow, I'm still overheated. Look how far I'm down I am. I'm still overheating. All right, I went away. Find some place cool to come. To. I'm at the bottom of the ocean. This is stupid. The only, that's, the, that's the thing that's the one thing I don't like about this game I think the overheating I understand you would get warm but I should be able to go in and, just, and at least be relieved until I'm no longer wet right now I'm 94% wet at least give me until I'm dry before I start being in trouble again let's go over and see what's on this little outskirt here I see a crocodile over there, another crocodile over there, a snake over there. It looks like a pretty friendly place. Except for everything. Alright, let's um I know he's coming. You back off. Anybody else? Of course. There's always somebody else. Oh. Oh no. You don't get away that easy. Wow. They just, they just keep coming. There's another bottle over here. Grab this other bottle. Okay, this is exactly 3.8s, nice and easy. Probably get those with just a bear. And that is what is this? Parsley and bilberry. Now we have lots of meat, so I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna take the meat off these guys. I hear a, a snake here somewhere. Oh well, hopefully it leaves me alone. I'm head over this way. Go check out this other outskirt here. Going around, we may, maybe we will find a bear or something. Who knows? It, it could happen. Or something that we want to tame. Like I said, I really, really would not mind um, having an ostrich. Right now, I'm going to get stuff that we don't have. What is this right here? 
Is this just a stone? That is that is copper. Where's it at? Uh, let's let's help the horsey out. Wow, that's an evil old thing, wasn't it? All right, let's um give you a little bit of that, a little bit of the nature's touch. Now we definitely don't want to get him too over weighted because he is going to have to protect us if something goes something goes wrong. Okay, we're back to uh, what do we have here? We definitely get rid of some of this maze. And we'll give him this. Alright, we may have to go and empty out. That I want, that I want. So everything in here I want for now. He's about half weighted. We're going to go a little bit longer. We did get some copper, which is excellent. Now, if we see a... If we do see a, um, a tiger or something, we are going to try to get a couple shots into it before it gets to us. That's not always possible, of course. What's all this? Jute and parsley. Let's go see what's over here. I can see a lot of salt, which we don't... I will grab some, but we don't really need a lot of salt. Let's take care of this guy. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. So what is this right here? That was a dead lion. Which happens to be my absolute favorite kind of lion. Level 20. Now I did see a level 74 um, ostrich. That would have been pretty neat to have. Got a wolf? That's the first wolf I've seen. You're not dumb enough, right? Oh, sure you are. Of course you are. I think we're almost around to our boat again. It is not as big an island as I thought it would be. Yeah, I think it's right up there around that other corner. Yeah, you go around the rock. I'll go this way. Oh, sheep. No, this is definitely... We're almost back. Alright, so someone told me that D3 was another uh, biome. Come on. Ow! That's cheating. Get over here so I can get the shots in him, maybe. Where you at? 
Where'd he go? Man, they attack on this island. Crazy, crazy. All right, so we pretty much got everything we need, I think, off this island. I want to start heading down to D3. You on the schooner. You on the schooner. You. You on the schooner. Excellent. All right, so let me take the stuff that we got on him, which is quite a bit, and I'm just going to put it all in one spot. it take me a second to get there, especially if I go that way. So right now we're at 7,000 with me holding it. Now, again, we might have to lighten up the load a little bit, uh, take a few things out, get rid of some of some of the other stuff. But all this stuff and again, we have too much parsley. Um, we don't need any of this because, well, that we get everywhere. Um, how is that? Oh, that's fleece. Okay, that makes sense. That's fiber. That's cotton. That's cotton. All right. Uh, we have rock salt. We have sea salt. I'm going to grab some more rock salt real quick. And uh, everything else I think we're good at. I thought we had more copper than two. What? What the heck was that? Oh. What level is that guy? This is the slowest thing ever. Level 40. So I'm glad the first cat we saw, we were on the boat. I'm all about that. All right, so right now we are at 67.20. We're going to turn this baby around. And we're going to head south. We're going to head right into D3 and grab the first... The first, the, uh, the first island we come to. Of course, it's going to be dark, I'm thinking, by the time we uh, get on the water. We're deep into the ocean, so it usually is. Now, if they, if we do find any sunken treasure, we'll grab that on the way. We get a bunch of different metals, a bunch of different woods, fibers, and stuff. We can start working on getting some much higher level stuff, which is the goal. All right, let's start opening these babies up. And we are heading due south. That is what we want. All right. 
So the wireless atoll was in the rear view mirror. I do like the little island. It's amazing. And I think there's going to be a couple more islands as we go through here. But we're going to pass them up for now. And uh, we might hit them on the way back just to get the discoveries. So we're moving along pretty good. But we do need a bigger boat. Um, I did make the mistake of saying it was a schooner that we needed. It's not. We obviously have a schooner. Um, I don't know if I want to go with a brig or a galleon. There is a huge difference between the two. Um, galleons hold a lot more weight. They have a lot more firepower. The only problem is they're slow as molasses. And they take half the ocean to turn around. Where a brig is a little bit more nimble, it doesn't carry as much, and it doesn't have as much firepower, but you're able to move around a lot better. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go with the brig. I saw a, uh, a the flash of a uh, sunken treasure over there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there is one over there. But uh, I'm going to keep on heading in this direction for now. Hopefully we'll run into something that's a little bit more in our path. So I think we're going to go with the brig. Um, I mean, eventually down the road, we'll probably have all of them. Uh, if this, is a, this will be nice for getting, you know, go out and get wrecks and stuff like that. We'll use the galleon for, for fighting the big stuff. And we'll use the brigs for fighting the smaller stuff. Um, if we want to take a bunch of animals with us, either one will work. But we eventually want to go out and get rhinos and get um, giraffes and and stuff like that. And they're going to be in areas like this, the uh, the desert regions. I'm surprised I don't see any of the other islands in this grid. Anywhere. we got to be... Yeah, we're halfway through already. They went ahead more south. So I guess I should probably turn the other way. There we go. Dead south. All right, so if I run into anything, I'll bring you guys back. If we have any trouble, obviously, I'll bring you guys back. Uh, other than that, I'll bring you back when we get to the, uh, the next grid. All right, we're back. We're coming up on to a buried, or a sunk buried, a sunken treasure. I'm going to slow down. I want to make sure there's no baddies over here. But it looks pretty good so far. Oh, there is an island over there. It's only a 3.0, but that's okay. Every little bit counts at this point. We'll get right over top of this bad boy. Now, by the time we get down there, it is going to be dark. That much I can promise you. Equip diving suit. Let's uh, put that away. We're not going to need that. All right, wish me luck. Going down. I did not bring a light, or did I? I did. We'll put that right there. <whistles> Getting dark. There's a light on. I see bubbles. That's all I see. 
Now obviously doing this in the dark really changes everything up a little bit. I keep on thinking I see things coming into focus and they disappear. And it gets to a point where light is not really helping a whole lot. Wow. Okay, here we go. There we go. I'm going to assume. All right, it's in the front. So we're going to go in the center. Oh, that was an easy one. 51 coins blueprint for a door, a potato, 23 potatoes, and a song. Let's take all. All right, let's head up. Is it really this dark up there, or is it about to lighten up a little bit? It's going to be pretty dark, I'm sure. Oops. Come on. I, didn't I unequip that? Isn't it space? Alright. Oh well. So let's go. I'll try not to walk into the fire anymore. And let's head due south again. So that wasn't a lot, but I'll tell you what. That's 50 toward our goal. Because I'm thinking now we need 25,000. That's a lot. All right, let's see where we're, which way we're heading here. All right, we're off course. That's more like it. All right. So we're going to keep on heading south. Exactly. All right, if I see anything else, or we get to the uh, the end, if we get to the next grid, I'll bring you guys back.
All right, everybody, we're back. We're about to head into D3 now. Um, see what happens on the other side. Hopefully there's something pretty close. What am I doing? I'm trying to hit one button, I'm hitting another. All right, traveling to D3. Uh, oh. All right, so here is a place right here. You might as well head that direction. Awfully small. Not sure there's many bears on this island. But at least we can see what resources are around. That's big. It's a nice little flat island though, in the middle of some mountains. Keep an eye on the distance, we're at 35%, 32, 30. Yeah, I'm not thinking there should be a whole lot of wildlife over here. It is a very small island. Oh. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, ten. Well, I gotta be careful here. I've hurt myself pretty bad like this before. Let's go over this way. This way a little bit more. You know what? Close enough. Close enough. I think that's an elephant. What's going on here? Oh, I know what's going on here. I'm in K mode. Alright. Get up here and see what we see. It's definitely an elephant there. Sheep. There's some crops there of some sort. Turtles, of course. Vulture. All right. So whenever the sun comes out, I'm going to bring you guys back. We'll go check out this island, at least uh, take a quick look at it. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's call it here. We'll have something new to look at next time we come back. We'll find out what, what land this is. We'll get our discovery and uh, see if we need to go check out something. I think we might have to go check out another one in this, in this D3. So if you like what you saw, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Any ideas, comments, or tips, put them in the comments down below. I would appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, want to help me out, then by all means hit that sub button. I really do appreciate it. 
Remember, everybody, survival is just a game. Oop, don't want to do that. Oh, see you next time. Bye.